But love isn't about grand gestures or the moon and the stars. It's just dumb luck. And sometimes you meet someone who feels the same way. And then sometimes you're unlucky. But one day you're going to meet someone who appreciates you for who you are. I mean, there's seven billion people on the planet. I know one of them is going to climb up on a moon for you. Really? Yeah, you're brilliant. You're very dedicated. You're going to make someone really happy one day. And I'm told you to be patient. And I'm told you to be fine. And I'm told you to be balanced. And I'm told you to be kind. And now all your love is wasted. There are moments that the words don't reach. There is suffering too terrible to name. You hold your child as tight as you can. And push away the unimaginable The moments when you're in so deep It feels easier to just swim down The Hamiltons move uptown And learn to live with the unimaginable I spend hours in the garden I walk alone to the store And it's quiet uptown I never liked the quiet before I take the children to church on Sunday A sign of the cross at the door And I pray That never used to happen before That's why I fucked your fat girlfriend, you fucking nerd! But she's so nice, but she's so nice, but she's so nice Wanna live as an untold story Rather go out in a place of glory I can't hear you I don't fear you Me go! Go! Call me what you want but you can't call me broke Money! What? I said he's a scumbag don't you know? We can't delay. What did you do? No one can see him on the floor. Get him out the door before he can decay. Why would you call me? I've seen a lot of different versions of the prank in various Marauders Era fanfics. Um, but something I haven't seen mentioned in a lot of Marauders Era fics is that Snape is a legilimens. Like we know this in canon, he can read minds. Um, so what if Sirius didn't actually tell Snape how to get into the Shrieking Shack? What if Snape read Sirius's mind and Sirius still felt guilty because his mother or his father used legitimacy on him and so he felt like he should have been able to fight it off and so he still felt guilty for letting Snape know how to get in? Because we know that Sirius feels guilty for things that he's not necessarily responsible for. He feels guilty for the Potter's death because he told them that Peter should be the secret keeper. We're such a mess together. You make me lose my temper. You might as touch on the Chevy door. November flush and your flannel cure. This dorm was once a madhouse. I made a joke, well it's made for me. How evergreen our group of friends don't think we'll say that word again. And soon they'll have the nerve to deck the halls that we once walked through. One for the money, two for the show. I never was ready, so I watch you go. Sometimes you just don't know the answer. So someone's on their knees and asks you if she would have made such a lovely bride. What a shame she's fucked in the head. They said we go find the real thing instead. She patch up your tapestry that I shred. You might as touch on the Chevy door, November flush, and your flannel cure. This dorm was once a madhouse. I made a joke, well it's made for me. How evergreen our group of friends don't think we'll say that word again. And soon they'll have a nerve to take the halls that we once walked through. One for the money, two for the show. I never was ready, so I watch you go sometimes.
favorite boy in the whole world. Sirius, put your hand down. I've never understood the hate for women that hate men. Why the fuck would I want my girl caring about the well-being of men other than me? Look, she could say kill all men, as long as I'm the exception. That's why y'all be getting cheated on. Look, I know she's not cheating on me because she hates the rest of y'all. I hate myself. But sometimes I think I'm really hot But that only lasts for a little bit Then I hate myself again Tell me a lie you've been told about girls at a young age That I was one of them I hate all men but when he shuts the fuck up Promise I won't push you straight to the dirt If you promise me you'll take them all first I love everything you do when you call I hate everyone, but man, oh man, you're my best friend. I'll scream it all the nothingness. There ain't nothing that I need. World hard and heavy, pumpkin pie, chocolate candy, Jesus Christ. Hey, nothing please me more than you. Home, let me come home. Cause home is wherever I'm with you Oh, home, let me come home Cause home is wherever I'm with you Something that blows my mind is how little we know about Lily Evans. I did a series a little while ago about the misogyny surrounding a bunch of female characters in the Harry Potter series. I spent a lot of time on Marauder's Talk and after kind of analyzing and critiquing J.K. Rowling's writing, I've noticed something. Lily Evans is the sole reason why we even have a Harry Potter series. She is the whole reason why Harry's the chosen one and why there isn't even a plot line. She is the key and we know almost nothing about her. Just think about it. We know so much about the Marauders, about Peter, we know so much about Sirius, we know so much about Remus, and even more about James than we do about Lily. It was her love for Harry that made everything happen the way that it happened, yet we know nothing about her. It's stupid. Don't even get me started about the other female Marauders characters. This is America, Lois. Men have always run things and there have never been any problems whatsoever. And don't say the economy or Iraq or income inequality or racism or Brett Kavanaugh or air pollution or Vietnam or slavery or Watergate or capitalism or Me Too or homelessness or police brutality or homophobia or Monica Lewinsky or school shootings or Native American genocide or Fox News or Tim Allen or climate change. Uh, you make a good point.